Welcome to my KCSC Revision channel, Grigol's Boys High School, the center of excellence, the headquarter of chemistry in East and Central Africa. Today we are looking at a, a KCSC Revision question from 3, Organic Chemistry 1. So we have the preparation of uh, the preparation of alkanes. And then the diagram below uh, shows uh, was used to, to prepare gas X in the laboratory study and answer the question that follows. So we have gas X here, we have sodium methanol plus soda lime, then we have heat, you name gas X, you write an equation to show the production of gas X, uh, study the scheme below, and then answer the question that follows. So we have this scheme. We are supposed to name the catalyst that is suitable to carry out the reaction in step one. Uh, you name the process uh, that takes place in step two. State the conditions uh, necessary for the reaction in step three to occur. Write down the equation for the reaction that takes place in step four. Uh, other than using a panning, uh, describe how you could distinguish between ethane and ethane. What is isomers? Then finally draw and then name all the structures of all the item isomers of the compound with the molecular formula carbon 4 hydrogen 8. Follow me as I navigate and unpack and analyze this question. So these are some of the questions who you can expect on a KCSE setting. So in diagram, in this diagram, the diagram is for the preparation of a uh, preparation of alkane. It is prepared uh, by heating a mixture of sodium alkanoid. So you can have heating a mixture of sodium alkanoid with soda lime. A soda lime is a uh, sodium hydroxide, which is mixed with calcium oxide to get a corresponding alkane, which has a uh, uh, one less carbon atom. So we can have uh, that uh, you can have um, this uh, soda lime if you can have that this is a soda lime uh, for any instance you have n carbon atoms then we have this is two n plus one then this is a, a, a soda sodium alkanoid C O O then we have this one a sodium is heated with soda lime. Soda lime is a compound of sodium hydroxide mixed with calcium oxide. So you can have sodium hydroxide here. So you have a sodium hydroxide. And of course, this one is in a solid form. So you will get an alkane. You get an alkane, which is a CN. And then we have two N plus two, then plus we have this one as the sodium uh, carbonate in a solid form. So what happens here, the hydrogen in sodium hydroxide, this hydrogen we have, is transferred or it is moved to the, uh, the, 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 the to, is moved to this one here, so we have this one in this compound to form. So it is moved here, uh, it is moved here to form this one, to form a CN 2N plus plus 2. So that is what we have. So if we can have that now here, that uh, we have uh, the, 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 the sodium ethanoid, which is CH3COO, then we have this one as, this is a sodium in a solid form. And this one is reacting with the sodium hydroxide. We have this one as sodium hydroxide. And remember, this one is in a solid form. So this one is giving us CH4, which is a gas, 10 plus the sodium carbonate. So you have this one as sodium carbonate. So the hydrogen in sodium hydroxide, this hydrogen here, the hydrogen in sodium hydroxide, this hydrogen, the hydrogen in sodium hydroxide is transferred. The hydrogen in sodium hydroxide, this hydrogen is transferred. This hydrogen is transferred to here. 
the hydrogen is as transferred to here to make C H4. So the hydrogen in sodium hydroxide is transferred to uh, is transferred to this sodium ethanoid and then to make a uh, CH4. So and then the gas is also you can see is collected over water. Then again, uh, the during this experiment, uh, the delivery tube should be removed immediately. The delivery tube should be removed immediately. Uh, uh, immediately a uh, heating is over to prevent sucking so you can also it removed to prevent to prevent sucking to prevent uh, sucking back so if you are required to give the precaution required here in this experiment the derivative uh, tube should be removed immediately uh, be heating uh, immediately heating is over to prevent sucking back. <clears throat> now, name gas X. Name gas X is now the gas is just met methane. So this gas is methane. Is a methane. So name gas X, the gas is methane. Rather than a question to show how the gas is, is produced, so you have this as a, a CH3 sodium. This is a, a sodium ethanoid reacting with an a soda lime. Soda lime is a compound of sodium hydroxide mixed with the calcium oxide. And then this one is gives us methane, which is a CH4 plus sodium carbonate. So we have sodium carbonate in a solid form. The diagram, the scheme, uh, study the scheme diagram below and answer the question that follows. We have ethanol. In step one, you get it it thin. Then you have to step two, you aggregate uh, a polymer. Then this one here, you aggregate, um, you aggregate um, chloroethane. So in step one, we have ethanol to ethane. The process is dehydration. So where we are using the process here, this process is dehydration. Dehydration where the conch salivuric acid, the conch salivuric acid, the conch salivuric acid is used as a dehydrating agent, or you can use the aluminum oxide. You can use an aluminum oxide there. So in the step two, you you have step from step one, step one ethanol to ethane, the process is dehydration. So we have ethane to ethane. This one here is ethane. Is it ethane? Then this one here is hydrogenation. So then name the catalyst that is suitable to carry out the reaction in step one. So the catalyst which is suitable here is aluminum oxide. Aluminium, so you can have this one as aluminum oxide. Name the process that takes place in step in step two. Step two we have here. So if we can have that um, uh, 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 ethene reacting with ethene, the process polymerization. So this one here it is a polymer. The formation of this is a polymer here. The name of this polymer is called the polythene. This one is called the polythene. So the process that takes place in this one here is called polymerization. So we call it this process as polymer, 
polymerization state the condition necessary for the reaction in step 3 to occur so we have this is step 3 to occur here so the step 3 uh, the reaction here is hydrogenation so we have a temperature so the condition is required here so we can have a temperature of um, 250 so you can have temperature a temperature of 200 or you can give a temperature of 250 but you are not required to give the range so don't give the range as 200 to 250 so the range is not required so don't give the range so there is a temperature of 200 or 250 so you can have and um, you can also use a uh, palladium palladium catalyst so you have this one as palladium or you can use the nickel catalyst and remember it is wrong to say high temperature high pressure you just give the the, the value the name of the catalyst I write down the equation for the reaction that takes place in step 4 step 4 it is here this is the reaction of the reaction of uh, your reaction of hydro hydrogenation so this is hydro 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 genation hydro halogenation hydro so we say this is hydro 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 halogenation we have this is hydro halogenation then we can have now the hydrogenation which is uh, we are adding the the hydrogen chloride so the type of the reaction is hydro hydrogenation then we have write down the equation for the reaction of this one remember we have the chlorine molecule there so we can have a, 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 we have this is as a thin which is a c h2 c h2 then plus our HCl. So if you are adding the HCl, this one is giving us CH3. So we have CH2, and then we have um, a chlorine. We proceed. So other than uh, using panning, Describe how you could distinguish between ethane and ethane. Remember this this one here is saturated. It is saturated, meaning that between the carbon to carbon atoms we have a single point, and this one here is unsaturated. It's unsaturated between the carbon atoms. We have the, the double point. So, what? How would you dis, dis, distinguish this one without using panning? You know, panning. You can use the type of the flame. You can use the reagents like bromine water, the acidified potassium dichromate, the acidified potassium permanganate. So, other than panning, describe how. Remember, you are describing an experiment. You give the, you identify the reagent that you are using, then you give the procedure and the observation that will be meant after using that procedure. So we are using either the acidified potassium uh, permanganate. So the acidified potassium permanganate is purple. When it's purpled through a thin which has a double bond, we decaralyze the acidified potassium from purple to caralyze. Well, as this one will not decaralyze. So we are using the correct reagent here. We use the acidified potassium permanganate. So what are the procedure followed? Purple ethane and ethane through. So you purple. 
you purple ethane and ethane through acidified to potassium manganate 7 should be acidified so we must have that hydrogen from the acid or you can use yellow bromine water in a separate test tube in a separate In a separate test tube. That is step one. So you pop the gas through either you can use the acidified potassium dichromate or you use bromine water. The ethane which is saturated will decaralyze the purple potassium permanganate, whereas this one here, the color remains. So, so we can say that the pot solution change to caralyze on the purple ethane. So pot solutions. change to colorless on the purpling it on purpling a thin so on the purpling but remains unchanged remains purple and a, a bromine a yellow bromine remains pro yellow so a uh, purple acidified potassium manganate remains purple and a yellow bromine water remains yellow bromine remains yellow when you purpling ethane so that is how you can separate uh, you can distinguish the ethane ethane and the ethane apart from apart from panning. So what are the isomers? Isomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula but the different structure formula. So this one are compounds that have the same molecular formula same molecular formula uh, but the different structure formula structure structure formula then draw and the name all the structures of the isomers of the compound with the formula so if you are drawing the isomers we are drawing the isomers draw and the name all the structures of the isomers so we have this is a C carbon 4 then we have hydrogen eight the this one here the parent name is um a butene so the parent name this one is a, a butene so we have defined isomers that a compound with the same molecular formula but the different structure formula 
So the first formula of this one, you can you can draw this one. So this carbon atom, it has one point. So we have one, two, three, four. So you have hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So this one, two, three, four. You will be having hydrogen, hydrogen. This one has one, two, three, four. So you will be have one hydrogen there. Then this is one, two, uh, three, four. Hydrogen, hydrogen. The point is that in, when naming, you, you, you start the, the, the carbon with where there is a branch should be given, the, where there is a double bond should be given the least number possible. So we have at carbon number one. So we can have this one, two, three. And then if we count from this one here, we can have one. So one, it should be given the least number possible. So the name of this one is a put in. That is the first isomer. The second isomer, you can, you can draw this second isomer. So follow the, the method, the, the procedure as an assignment and draw the second and the third isomers. You follow my YouTube channel, Marita James, Rivoli's Boys High School. Uh, kindly subscribe, click the notification bell, you get notified once I upload a new video.